What's up YouTube? It's your girl Jay Jane and I'm back with another video and as you already see by the title today I'm gonna be showing y'all how I got this cute little bun on my natural hair. Your girl got her hair pursed out this weekend and it was so cute and luscious but I didn't want to wear my hair down anymore. I just wanted to wear it up. So I'm gonna show y'all how I got it up into this bun without making it super weighed down to the point where when it's, when, it, when it's time for it to get over with I have to wash my hair so I can take this bun down and still wear my hair straight down and you know have it not look overflow like the product so the key to this is not using edge control but i'm gonna tell y'all all that when we get into the video because i talk too much if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also turn the post notifications so you can be notified every time i post a video and if you're returning of course welcome back but yeah i'm not gonna remember too much y'all said y'all want natural hair videos so i'm gonna give them to y'all give me style style options down below in the comments below so i can find out what's new to try and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video okay guys so i got my hair straightened the other day and ooh, straightened and trimmed because you know your girl's on her healthy hair journey and so you know what i'm saying i didn't really wear it like out for a long time i pretty much bundy it up but it's still really flowy and i still have a lot of wear out of it because i didn't really put much product product on it so yeah she's looking thick yeah i don't know y'all don't know how exciting it is for me to finally have like my hair healthy and full and all one, all is one. The longest, but it's because I've been working to get it all to one length and all healthy. And I think pretty much all the unhealthy pieces are out of my hair. Like if I'm not mistaken, like she's did a really good job. Um, but I didn't get my, I got my hair straightened the first time and trim for the first time in four years in october so this is my second time i'm gonna try and go every two months now so i can keep it up y'all want to see how i got my bun stay tuned for the video i'm gonna go ahead and brush these edges out because i want to show y'all how i do my edges too um and this is not like a top knot type of blend it's kind of just like a I don't know just a cute little bun to put in your head more it looks kind of like a ballerina bun but it's not so i'm just gonna brush my little adult hairs because i don't got no baby hair but the goal to this is to use as least product as you can because when your hair is straight if you pay for a sip press or if you pay for like a press out or something you don't want to go on top of it with tons of product because it's going to be like then you know what i'm saying you waste it i i use hairspray basically i'm going to show y'all everything i use but the goal was to keep my hair straight and not weigh down so i wouldn't have to wash my hair um and this like waste a fresh press out so let me show y'all what i'm gonna do first things first you want to part off your edges your baby hairs whatever you're gonna be using if you got adult hair like me just go ahead and part that off do what you do sis. I'm not judging you. I always split my hair into sections when I do it. So, if you have ponytail holders, I would suggest you use ponytail holders. Don't use rubber bands like me, but that's all I have. So I'm just gonna put the back of my hair up in a ponytail or a little bun in the back and just fold it out the way. Then, you're gonna go to the top ponytail. Look at my hair. <laughs> Let me stop. Uh, then you're gonna go to the top with a ponytail and this is the same if y'all watch my braided tutorial It's the same Y'all probably want me to flat iron my hair on camera But I'm just not comfortable doing that yet because I use too much heat and I really don't know what I'm doing yet So I would just leave it to the stylist But I'm just gonna put my ponytail up Right here. This is what's gonna help you grip it into the whole ponytail okay like i said the key to this is to use as least product as you want to so one of my favorite products that i've been using recently is this got to be insta hold flex 
and it's super 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 lightweight super like it's almost like dry like i don't know how to explain it but it's not wet like the other got to be the other got to be is really like wet and loose so you know what i'm saying it makes your hair hard this literally y'all see how soft my hair is i literally just took my bun out and i didn't feel it so if you're gonna take the time to straighten your hair take the time to make sure you don't use it like mess it up in a small amount of time if that makes sense because i feel like if i'm gonna straighten my hair i want to get as much wear of it out of it and styles out of it as i can and not have to you know like wash my hair and then like it's like dang i don't straighten my hair a lot so yeah so make sure your edges or baby hairs whatever you got out and you're just gonna get a brush I would prefer to use a hard brush, but this is the only brush I got because I threw my hard brush away because it was dirty. So now you're just going to go in and literally just, y'all, this is the lightest one. If I could recommend, now I wouldn't advise this for like your ball cap, but for like minor styles on like your wig or anything like that, definitely get this. And remember, it's the Flex Insta Hold and it's by the Got To Be brand, so it should be beside it. So, like even how it sprays is completely different. I'm just gonna spray that around the top, not too much, and just brush it up how high you want it to be. And people always ask, they be like, well, my friends and stuff, they be like, people know how to put their hair in the bun. You would be surprised. Sometimes people just want to see, you know what I'm saying, how other people do their hair, and it's different tips and tricks that people do and mainly the part that I want to show y'all is the edges really because I just started like doing the extra edges but it doesn't even have to be too tight because I never can get a super tight ponytail but it still works at the end so take your rubber band or hair tie I prefer a hair tie but I don't have any I don't know what happened to all my hair ties um and you want to get it as tight as you can, but not too tight to the point where it's like unbearable. So, I'm just going to tie my ponytail up. I always have humps in my ponytail. It's just like a thing, so I don't really be tripping. It is what it is, you feel me? <laughs> like, I can never get, I don't see how people get their ponytail super duper flat. Like, right up in here, it always is kind of up a little bit, but it's cool. Let's go on with just a little hairspray around that. And it's crazy because you can tell that my hair is still soft. My hair doesn't look hard or extra molded down or anything. Like, it's still soft, still flowy. Like, this is it. Take your hair out from the back. <sighs> my hair be itching. I'm going to take your hair out from the back. Now, you can do your little half up, half down situation. I want to wait on my hair to get a little bit longer before I start wearing it half up, half down. Um, let me see. yeah no <laughs> but next you're gonna pull your hair up from the back now you if you want to you know curl you some curlies in the back or whatever you can do that but i don't want to do that because by the end of the day it'd be looking stupid and i just don't got time for it today so you're just gonna grab all your hair put it at the top and y'all this is how i can just tell how healthy my hair is like just look at how all my ends are oh, like how all my ends are just like the same and like how thick it is at the end my hair has never looked like that it always looked like it gets smaller i love that so i'm gonna brush that up and you're just gonna do the same like the key to this is not making it too heavy like i'm gonna keep saying that it's not making it too heavy and this is the quickest style ever and the, if your hair is already blow, uh, flat iron, you can do this flat iron, blow dry. Because I recorded this blow dry the first time. But I prefer to do it straight because it looks more seamless. Um, so, I can show y'all two ways. But you literally just want to spray this hairspray on it. And like I said, it's super duper lightweight. So, it's not going to weigh your hair down. And so when you get ready to take this style down, guess what? All you're going to have to do is brush it out. Comb it out. Ponytail. <laughs> 
trying to get it as tight but like I said I can never grip my hair that tight so it just be like whatever <laughs> got a little part right here but it's okay it's gonna be covered up so you're gonna take your hair out that rubber band and you should have just a ponytail so you can stop here of course if you have like a you know a longer ponytail or whatever you can stop here just wear your hair in a ponytail I don't want to do that look at it look at it <laughs> I don't know how to act honey I don't know how to act let me stop Y'all probably like, girl, that little bitty hair. Don't do me, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I kind of want to go for the donut look more so than like a top knot. I don't know why. I just kind of been liking that. It's more sleek, and it gives me like Lori Hardy vibes. So I don't know. You're really just gonna roll your hair around, not too tight. I mean, I don't want to do it too tight because I don't want my hair to look. I don't want my bun to be that small. But, of course, you can roll it up into tiny little bun. I mean, that's still cute, but I kind of want my bun to be more fluffy and have more volume. So, I'm just going to comb my hair out. And just, like, kind of tuck it and, like, roll. I don't know how to describe it. Like, tuck it and roll. You see how perfect it is? It almost looks fake. Bobby pins, you can go in and kind of like just shake it a little bit. Because I like mine to sit up just a little higher. So the bobby pins is what's going to help you do that. But besides that, you're pretty done. Like if your hair is longer than mine, you should be able to wrap it. And you probably won't need any bobby pins. But the bobby pins is just going to secure that my bun don't really come loose. Because yesterday it came loose. But, I mean, it's not an ugly loose, but it's just like, you kind of want it to, ooh, you know. And it looks ten times better straight. It's definitely lopsided, but that's cool. Um, but, next. You want to go in with your edges this is the fun part now you can curl your edges you can if you want to but if you kind of know how to already do your edges then you won't have to but I'm trying to think about how i had them let me see that's my best friend she a real bitch uh -uh. lately what i've been doing with my edges is 24 hour edge and mixing it with got to be gel this is helping me to not have that white look but also it's giving me the hold i need from the edge control so i'm gonna come up a little bit closer so y'all can really get in there and see what i'm doing if you curl your edges cool i mean it's gonna be the same concept i look at my baby hairs as like a wig really because i mean my edges is like a wig how i do my edges for my wig is how i'm gonna do it with my with my baby with how I do my edges for wigs is how I'm gonna do my edges for my real hair. So got to be black bottle and even. So I'm gonna go in with my spoolie. This is the key, this spoolie. Now it's dirty as hell. It's dirty as hell, but it gets the job done. So I'm gonna go in. So you're gonna dip it in the edge control. Then you're gonna pour some out of this and just dip it like this. Okay. Now you're gonna just swoop. Just like I do my wigs. Swoop. Your hair straighten so my edges lay the best when they're straight, uh, duh, but you're literally just swooping it into the top. 
and you can make all kind of swirlies how you want to doesn't matter like I like using this way more than a edge brush I don't know why but it's just 10 times better like it does what you want it to do just want to make sure that you bring it back into the hair And how I decide what I want my edges to do is I just put my hair in a ponytail and I literally just go in with a comb and just pull hair down. Not too much, but not too little. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. I mean, edges is how you want to do them. I like to swoop them and just make them look fancy. And I can't wait till my edges get thicker so I can really show out with them. But for now. So this one, pay attention. You're just gonna put it on there. And you're just gonna swoop it into a circle. into a circle you kind of gotta create this though you kind of you see that so cute and i already kind of have my edges in place if y'all want a super detail i really feel like i'm gonna start wearing my natural hair more so i'm gonna start you know figuring out styles to wear and stuff like that for y'all but I just feel like the natural hair community is just a different one realm of YouTube that I can open up to more viewers and expand a lot so that's my goal for the new year is to expand into newer territories and to branch out and get different views so pretty and this is kind of like a messy bun, like an every, I don't know, <laughs> everyday bun. Just cute. And I really like this got to be an edge control mix. It really helps. And this one is going to be a little curly, so you're going to go all the way down. These little curlies are kind of hard to do, but it just takes patience. A lot of patience. Let me see how I did it. Into a little circle. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these little circles you gotta basically form yourself. Like, just form it. And honestly, I cannot tell y'all where I got this booty from. It was an eye, a old eyebrow pencil. Uh, what is it? L'Oreal, some L'Oreal for our comes one. This is my favorite one to use. I feel like it's the best. Um, yeah. And you can make your bun how you want to. You can do a top knot, like you can knot it. You can do it small, you can do it bigger. It all just depends on you. Yeah. This was flat on, it'd be a little more tamed. But, y'all see my edges? So long. Okay, now I'm just trying to get this bun how I want it exactly. So 
for the pendants. It was kind of flat yesterday. I wanted just a little bit more elevated. It's a little to the left, but it's cool. Uh, going with just a tad, very light handy you can go in. And then, go in with oil sheen. This is an OG, if you don't know what this is, you're tripping. And just spray it all over. <laughs> and boom, it's done. No weave, no extra headache, no nothing. And it's just a cute little bun, everyday bun for you to do. So I'm about to film my everyday makeup tutorial and I'll be back with the finished look. First, what you can do, this is completely optional. Baby, just know with that combo, your edge is not going nowhere. I to tie my edges up while I'm doing my makeup. So I don't know for sure that they stand. Just tie this up. Y'all, my bun really cricket. <laughs> I need to try and make it straight. Okay, boom. I'll be back, finna film another video. Hey guys, this is a finished product now. Like I said, you can tie it up into a knot. You can make it more, you know, more of a higher bun. You can make it flatter. You can do it how you want to do. But this is kind of the look that I was going for. And I think it's so cute and just mm, so pretty. But yeah, I hope this tutorial was able to help you guys. Don't forget to like and comment down suggestions below or how you feel about this video. How you like the style? Would you try this yourself? Let me know feedback in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and also turn on that bell post notification so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been trying to do more content. Like, I don't know, y'all don't, I, I'm a beauty influencer. I feel like I'm trying to give some more to beauty and not really blogger, but I can do both. And I'm trying to make it a healthy mixture for y'all. So tell me in the comments how y'all feel about these types of videos. Let me know feedback so I can know what not to do, what to do, and you know, stuff like that. But I'm not gonna remember too much. Thank you all for watching. I love you all and I will see you guys in the next freaking video.